Hi guys, this is Ash here, and this is my tutorial on how to reset uh, the binary counter or the flash counter on uh, the Samsung Galaxy Note or the S3 or the Galaxy S2 back to zero. So the models that are supported uh, via this method are the Galaxy S2 i9100, the Galaxy S3 i9300, the Galaxy Note N7000 and uh, i9220. Uh, so guys, uh, okay, what is the fi binary counter? So just hold the down volume, power and home buttons on your phone. Just keep holding it. And your phone will reboot back into download mode. Okay, now press volume up to continue. So let me just pull the phone in a little closer. And over here when you see custom binary download, it says yes, one count. So this means that my binary counter is one and if I take my phone in for warranty today, they're going to refuse warranty. Okay, so what we need to do now is reset this back to zero. So in this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and show you how that gets done. So like I said, it's applicable for all these uh, four models. And uh, uh, guys, make sure that you read through the post that I've linked in the description because that is the, uh, the post where uh, Chainfire, the developer of this method, talks about uh, what firmware it's compatible with. As of today, the 6th of June 2012, uh, it is compatible with all firmwares for these devices. Uh, but if there are any changes, I will make sure that I try to let you know in the description if this method gets outdated or if there's something newer, I'll try to make another video and upload it and link it in the description. But even then, just to be double sure, Make sure that you check uh, and read through the thread, the first post on the page that I've linked to in the description. All right, guys, enough of that. So let's go ahead and get this done. So what do we do right now? The first thing you need to do is click on the link and scroll down on the post and make sure, I mean, you will find something called triangleaway.apk. Click on it, download it, transfer it to your phone. All right, guys, what we do now is tap on uh, the menu button, settings, Go into application, no, go to security and scroll down and uh, you will have something called unknown sources. Make sure that's selected and I've go back, go into my files and navigate to wherever it is that you've saved uh, triangleaway.apk. So I've saved it on my internal memory. So go ahead and select package installer and tap install. Done. Now go back, uh, make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi or you have a 3G connection, tap on triangle away, grant super user privileges, tap continue, download again. So now I've just wait for this download to be done. Thanks. Alright guys, so over here, tap reset flash counter, so go ahead and hit continue. Alright, so over here you see it says uh, flash counter 1, binary status custom, press volume up to reset counter and status press volume down to reboot. So over here I'm just tapping volume up. So it's going to go ahead and reset the counter. Alright guys, let's just check uh, if the counter has been reset, hold volume down, power and uh, the, home, the home buttons at the same time. You should get back into download mode. Alright, now tap volume up to continue. So over here, if you can see, it says custom binary download no, current binary Samsung official, system status official. So alright, let me quickly reboot the phone now. Alright.
Alright guys, so now go ahead, go into settings and scroll down to about device and select status. So your device status might still show up as modified at, at this point and uh, if you're going to send your device back into warranty uh, all you need to do is just download any of the stock ROMs from XDA developers relevant to your device say for example Galaxy Note or Galaxy S2 or whatever just uh, download the stock ROMs that you want download the app called PC Odin and uh, go ahead select PDA select the file and just flash your phone again after putting it into download mode so if you guys have any uh, what do you say doubts on how to go out, go about uh, flashing your phone back to stock, I have a link in the description that says how to unroot the Galaxy Note. So though it's meant for the Galaxy Note, that is how the procedure works for the S3 or the S2 or even I mean uh, like I said the Galaxy Note. So follow that tutorial, check it out once, and that's all you need to do to reset reset your phone back to factory default so that you can send it in for warranty issues. So that's pretty much it guys when it comes to resetting the flash or binary counter on your Galaxy S3, i9 uh, 300 or uh, Galaxy S2, i9 100 or the Galaxy Note 9220 or GDN uh, 7000. If you have any questions about it, hit me up in the comment section or you can say, follow me on Facebook or Twitter or you can even send me, a email, send me an email. All my contact details are in the description. So if you guys want to do me a favor, if you want to help me out, choose my links in the description to Amazon. Uh, the ones that say the purchase a Galaxy S3 or a Galaxy Note or whatever, just use the links, go ahead, purchase whatever you want off Amazon and get paid, paid a few bucks. So that is if you guys want to do me a favor, just putting it out there. Uh, and before you go guys, make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons. I will be coming out with more videos for the Galaxy S3 as well as the Galaxy Note N7000. So that's pretty much it guys. Thanks a lot for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe. You have a great day. Bye-bye now.